my name is Andy Tattersall and this is part of a series of videos called App Hacks. The videos are hosted on iTunes U and on YouTube on the Shard Vids channel. So there are many other videos and this one I'm going to show you is one called Health Mapper. It's one for GPs and for patients. It's one that they can kind of prescribe to patients and has a variety of conditions that patients can go in and help themselves manage. The app is only available on iOS for an Apple device and is $3.99. So I'm going to show you how the app works. So this is Health Mapper, um, which uh, works only in portrait on uh, your mobile device. And um, you can either start by creating a, an account or you can uh, log in if you've already got an account. So if I just go to create an account, I'm not going to create one now, but what it would ask for is when you were tracking uh, for the health condition for yourself or for someone else, it would just want a, an email address, a password, and then uh, for you to retype uh, the password um, and then there's some terms and conditions which perhaps are worth just kind of browsing over um, before you start. I'm not going to actually create an account, I've already got one, I'm just going to skip that process which I can do. So at this point I can um, now go through all the various conditions that are in Health Mapper and as you can see there are plenty, diabetes, hay fever, uh, HIV, IBS etc. So, uh, seeing as it's the summer and I'm suffering from my hay fever, I'm going to pick hay fever. I just select that and then go next. It then wants to know what symptoms do you want to track. Um, so, for myself, I've got blocked nose, um, I've got headache, itchy eyes, uh, nose running, so we'll have all that, red eyes. Uh, so, you select, and this will apply to whatever condition it is that you're looking at. Um, I'll also put in sneezing, I sneeze quite a lot, and uh, watery eyes and tiredness. Um, so I put all those in, I then select next, and then it wants to know what medication do I like to track, what I like to track. So we'll, we'll just put in the, uh, I'll just put in, I know I'm taking um, this particular one, so I'll put those in like so. And as you can see, it's quite, it's quite extensive, the number of actual kind of uh, medications it's got in here. So. There's quite a lot to it. I'll then go next, and then it wants to know what measurements do I want to track. So most of these are not particularly uh, of value to this particular one, but it may be different with others, say such as headache uh, or diabetes. So I'm just gonna track sleep, and then I click next, and then there's other variables I can put in here. So perhaps put the dairy in, because dairy can affect uh, your, your kind of your, your, your nasal passages. So we'll kind of select that and uh, put milk products in. Select next, and then it wants to know whether you want to set kind of reminders, yes or no. You want to know how often they uh, occur and the time you want them to come. And just press um, next again wants to tell you whether you should uh, remember to take any med medication. So particularly useful if you're a doctor, you're prescribing medications and you're, you're worried that uh, whether your patient's going to take the medications or not on time. Again, it's very useful if they've got a mobile device that you're not just prescribing a medication, you're prescribing an app that will actually help them um, uh, use this. And at the time of we recorded this, or shortly before we recorded this, this was part of the NHS uh, uh, app suite. So it was actually on the official NHS a collection of apps so we can put in reminders and I'll go next and then it wants to know whether you want to turn on any kind of security ID any fingerprint ID to log into the app and then click finish and then I just press start and it will start tracking so um, if I just hit that it will now uh, it will actually there's a little bit here where it wants to kind of introduce me to the main feature of the app I'll just say no and as you can see it's gone to a diary and I can analyze, I can do the report. So you imagine if you're, if you're a junior doctor, you're, you're a clinician, you uh, prescribe this to a patient, they go away and track uh, their data, they can then bring it back and you can see this, you can analyze it, you can get reports on it. Obviously there's nothing to analyze at this point and there's no report. But there is a tremendous amount of um, uh, uh, health conditions on here um, that you can track. So, so um, it's one of these again. Uh, install it, have a look, and and see what you think. It's three ninety nine uh, at the present on iOS. Um, I actually showed this to some junior doctors, and they did all find it particularly interesting and potentially quite useful uh, as part of their work. So it's one to explore.